Hi, I'm Linda Hopwood, pastor of Ives Chapel United Methodist Church. We continue to explore spiritual practices, all of which are intended to help us draw closer to God. Recently, we focused on prayer, especially intercessory prayer. We've also talked about breath prayers, creating a short prayer that can be spoken or thought in the amount of time it takes for a single breath. Today, we're going to consider another variation of intercessory prayer called imaging prayer. Instead of praying for someone or something by using words, allow your imagination to compose your prayer to God. I had an experience with this kind of prayer before I even knew what it was. Our daughters, who were about eight and four at the time, were spending a week with their grandparents in Hutchinson. Earlier in the week, I got a call from my mom. She was concerned about our younger daughter who had developed hives. Because of work obligations, I knew it would be several days before I could go get our girls. That night, before I went to sleep, I prayed for her. As I prayed, I saw her in bed sleeping, but bathed in a golden healing light. I thank God that even though I wasn't with her, I knew God was. Early the next morning, my mom called to say that without any treatment, our daughter's hives were gone. I believe God chose to heal her and that I had a chance to cooperate with God in asking for healing and goodness for her. To try an imaging prayer, take a deep breath and relax as you allow yourself to come into the presence of God. Visualize God's loving presence as a warm, radiant light. Envision the person or situation in your prayer as being bathed in the light of God's love. Imagine them being wrapped in God's healing arms See them as being healed, made whole, or restored. Ask for them to be restored, healed, or made whole according to God's will. Then thank God for whatever healing is given and release the person or situation into God's care until you pray about them again. When you use imaging for intercessory prayer, you envision with God the restoration of God's creation. I invite you to practice imaging prayer this week, remembering the Gospel of Mark chapter 14 verse 36 that when we pray we want god's will more than our own amen <laughs>